Hey, what is going on guys? H4T here. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. I ordered a new gun uh, Tuesday of last week. Shouldn't be too much longer till it gets to the gun store. And uh, what I got is something that I have been wanting for a very, very long time. Where I'm at, you don't see these a whole lot on the shelves just sitting there in the gun stores. For whatever reason, I don't know why. But uh, what I got was a Mossberg 590A1, the military issue uh, shotgun. And there's going to be a lot of things that I'm going to do to this shotgun. I'm going to make a video series and probably have you guys tell me some suggestions on some different things that I'm going to look into for the gun as far as lights and uh, you know ways I'm going to connect different things. And there's a lot of stuff I'm going to be doing to this gun. So... I'll definitely do a video as soon as I get the gun. They told me it should be max two weeks, and that's going back from last Tuesday. So it shouldn't be much longer. This gun store that I deal with, Thin Feather and Fur, uh, normally they are always quicker rather than later. So I don't uh, see any, you know, I don't see any reason why this would not be. And their distributor does have the gun. There's a big difference if a gun store tells you they're going to order a gun or that their distributor has the gun. If the distributor has the gun, that's the quickest way to do it. That's how, that's how the majority of these gun stores get their guns, is through, is through their distributors. So he looked it up on the computer. They did have what I wanted. Uh, there had been one sitting in that store. You know, this is, this is how things always go, guys. Uh, there had been a Mossberg 590A1 sitting in thin feather and fur. And when I first seen it there, I looked at it probably two months ago, maybe even longer, maybe even three months ago. And at this time, I was getting my AR-15 lowers and doing my builds on my ARs and stuff, which I still haven't got the barrels yet for. But uh, I looked at the shotgun, and I was like, wow, you know, yeah, this is exactly what I want, you know, and it's there, and the price is good and all that. And I thought, ah, you know, uh, you know, maybe I'll pick that up, you know, and this and that. The other thing, I was kind of focused on those AR-15 lowers that I was building. So last week, when I went on Tuesday... I was like, you know what, man, I'm going to pick up the shotgun. I really want this thing. Uh, I'm looking on the internet, there's different things I want to do to it. And wouldn't you know it, I go in and it is absolutely gone. Had been there for two to three months every time I went in there and it was gone. So he got, a, you know, got on the computer quick and said, hey, my distributor's got it. He says, I got to tell you two weeks, but two weeks should be the maximum, should be even earlier than that. So we're, you know, we're going on uh, one week as of this, this coming Tuesday. So... When that comes, guys, a video will be put up, and like I said, I'll do a video series, and we'll go through everything I'm going to do to it, whatever I'm going to do with Magpul, and, <laughs> you know, whatever else I'm going to get uh, for that shotgun, and you guys can give me some of your thoughts and ideas, too, because I know there's a lot of my viewers out there that own these already, and that's what I need, is I need a little bit of input. I want input from things that's been tested, tried, and true. I'm not going for what looks cool what looks good now understand that i like things that look um aesthetically appeasing on a gun or aesthetically appealing i'm sorry <laughs> i don't know where my head's at right now but uh yeah i like things that look good on a gun just as much as the next guy but this has to this has to be able to be used in in real world uh situations not just something that you put on and you say wow that gives it this certain look i'm looking for stuff that's battle tested and battle true and that's what i do with my ars i won't put anything on an ar or have an ar done up in any way that i can't carry it on my body for eight hours i've i've you know well let's just leave it at that but i won't i won't have anything on a gun that i can't have out there and use and carry all day and some guys don't think about that but uh, all right, guys, I'm kind of rambling on now further than I should be. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll talk to you real soon. And uh, have a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys real soon. H4T and I'm out.